The first step to engaging with Richmond's learning platform is to open your web browser and type in the address richmondlp.com. When you arrive on the Richmond Learning Platform website, you'll see the top bar shows features, tools, testimonials, a contact page, and a place for you to sign in or register. When you click the login button, you're taken to the login page where you'll see a place for you to enter your username or email and your password if you already have a sign in. If you don't yet have an account, you'll have to register here or get some help below. So here you'll type in your email, enter your password, and click sign in. The student homepage on the Richmond Learning Platform should have my classes on the left and my products on the right. The classes and products that fall underneath your two columns might look different depending on which class you're signed up for with your teachers at school and which product or textbook your teacher uses for that class. If you are already registered for a class, your class will show up right here where mine says Personal Best American Edition. That's the class that I'm signed up for as a student. You might also see a class start date, a class end date, or some assignments. I'm going to click on my class to see what's going on inside. Inside your class, you'll see first your class materials and also tabs for assignments, your markbook, and the forum. There's a search bar up here too for you to search for specific materials. In the class materials section, I can see the product that my class is using. Your product will look different depending on which product is specific for your class. But for this example, I'm going to use the Personal Best American Edition book. I can see in the class materials that I've already started working on Unit 1 based on the image of this progress bar. I also can see my first score and that my last score has not yet been submitted. Each unit in my class material book shows up here in this section. And within each unit, I can see all the activities that I need to complete. Unit 1, for example, has grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, reading. If my teacher has assigned me a specific material to work on, I'll find that assignment in the Assignments tab. When I click on Assignments, my teacher in this example has not provided any assignments, but if they are assigned, they'll show up here. Going back to class materials, I want to start working on the other activities in the Unit 1 section. I have not yet worked on this pronunciation activity, so I'm going to click that one first. Each activity opens into a new window where you can see the activity you're working on, the directions for how to complete the activity, and then the questions you need to complete. At the bottom of the page, there is usually a clear all or a submit button. Clear all eliminates all of your answers and the submit button submits them to be reviewed. This is true for each type of activity. For example, if I go into the vocabulary activity, I see again the unit, the, the activity name, the directions, and then the activity for me to work on. Once I finish working on the activity, 
If I click Submit, the platform will ask me if I'm sure I'm ready to submit. And then will give me my score. My first score has been sent to the mark book. I see that I earned a score of 33%. I have one attempt left, which means I can go back and try again. Now once I complete an activity like I did with this vocabulary, I'll see that the circle is filled up showing that I finished it, my first score, and when I complete it a second time, I'll, I'll show my improved score here. In the mark book tab, I can see my scores for each activity I've worked on. So for example, in our personal best book, I see I have 41, 45% in unit one so far. I also can look at specific assignment scores, test scores, and my average scores. Finally, a great resource in the Richmond Learning Platform to take advantage of is the forum. In the forum, I can see topics of other students from my classes and can interact with students and teachers online. I can add a new topic to the forum here with the new topic button. When I click the create, button below, my topic is added to the forum and my classmates can comment on my need for help with, like, with phrasal verbs. Let's go back home by clicking the home button here.